Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Um, as you may notice right off the bat, my energy level's not the same as usual. I may look kind of tired. The lighting's not the best because I'm trying to mess with the natural light and the way the sun's coming in, but, you know, not feeling well today. But I'm going to push through this because I just got the November Box of Dread. Um, I know you may be saying, November Box, it's January 3rd. Uh, yes, uh, they've been having some problems, and um, a lot of people have been real upset about it. It's like a shipping issue that they were having with a, a UPS and their account and stuff like that. So uh, before, prior to that, I think in October, they were having problems with getting their items to them for packaging everything up, and they've had a few issues. Uh, but they're really, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Um, they're, they're a pretty small organization. They don't have many people doing anything, plus this is a really cheap box so you know I understand those types of things will happen here and there so it's not that big of a deal what is a little bit of a issue for me and that I've seen a lot of people complaining about and uh, you know when I saw it I'm like oh that's very legitimate like people complain like complaining and saying you know oh you know you didn't get this shipped at a certain time I don't really pay that much mind just because, you know, you, the, it was a UPS issue in this situation, and they were very upfront with that. Their communication was good about it, so what are you going to do? You know, you can't really get upset with that. It's not their fault. What people are upset with, though, also is that they've still been each month charging cards. Um, so at this point, people have paid for November, December, and January, and people are just getting their November box. That is bad form, and that is concerning, because um, you shouldn't be charging people if they're not getting the product. Um, there could be a really big issue, like say, and I hope this doesn't happen, but say they were to go under, like now, um, people would still be owed two boxes that they may not have. So, it's an issue. But anyway, um, I'm gonna unbox this November box. Hopefully it's a good one. And uh, we'll go from there. I'm, I'm just looking for the future, you know. Oh, yep, that's right. Box with a box. I forgot because it's been a little bit. The Box of Dread box. Love this box design. I think it's cool. Hopefully this is good and worth the wait as it's over a month late. Uh, tissue paper. Oh, nice red tissue paper. My cat will be happy with variety because she's just used to getting the black ones from Bambox. All right, so here's a... This might be some sort of like mystery mini or Titan vinyl. Uh, Edward Scissorhands, the I'm Not Finished collection. It is a Titan vinyl. I actually don't like the Titan vinyls. I think they look kind of stupid. Um, not a big fan. Uh, it's just like a large head on a boxy odd body. I know there are people out there who like it, but hopefully I get a decent one here. Let me show you what you can get on the side. As you can see, there's Edward, there's Peg, there's a different version of Edward, Jim, Joyce. There's a Rex, which I assume is like what he shaped out of a bush. Uh, a, and there are like two Edward scissor hands that I guess you don't know. They're like mystery. And then there's two more there. Um, they, what is that? Cookie cutter? I don't understand what that is. Ice Angel in investigate uh, I'm sorry inventor I'm reading backwards on this so it's hard and then two more Edwards and a Kim it's a lot of Edwards in this it's kind of weird let's see what we got hopefully it's one I'm like that's fine let's see if I can figure this one out this might be tough I really want to get the T-Rex one but uh, it doesn't feel mm -hmm. what is that I think one of the arms is up and one of the arms is down or something. There's something like a ball or something in there. Or maybe it's like a scissor hand. I don't know. It's pr Odds are it's one of the Edwards. So let's find out. Yes, I was right about the odds. Uh, oh, and his scissor hands are separate. That's interesting. So it's uh looks like this is just the there's so many versions of him. Uh okay, he's the two and twenty. One of the two and twenties, so Yeah, and these things just look weird. They just look weird to me. I mean 
I'm sure there are people who like it, but it just looks weird to me. Let me put the scissor hands on, though, just to complete it. I don't, you know, I don't understand why the scissor hands have to be separate. Seems a little odd to me that they have to be separate. Are they even going to go on the, yeah, they're going go on the hands. They look like a little odd for a moment. Okay. I mean, they fit on there pretty well. So there. Now he's got his scissor hands, you can see. Which look pretty good. You can put them out. Like he's going to kill someone. But he wouldn't mean to. He's a good guy. He's like the good Frankenstein's monster, you know? I get rid of these things. Don't need those. Anyway, next thing. I'm not a big fan of it. There's like a book. Oh my god, I hope this isn't a journal. I hate journals. Oh, thank goodness. It's a... Why did I think this? It's a DVD. Totally fine with that. Totally down. There's a little glare there. Totally good with DVDs. Radius. 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 You're not feeling well. Don't get too close is what it says. Oh. Alright, so you can take a look at it and I'll read it. Following a car crash, a man wakes with no memory. As he seeks help, he discovers only dead bodies. He soon discovers the horrible truth. Any living thing that comes within a 50-foot radius of him dies instantly. I don't really like that premise. But, it was a flat... Uh, Jesus. <laughs> a selection at Fantasia Film Festival, at a selection for Fright Fest London, Fantasy Film Fest, and Fantastic Fest. Not like that necessarily means anything, but... I mean, always willing to give it a try. Like, I never have a problem when I get a DVD, because I can watch it and I don't have to like it. It is what it is. Alright, the next thing is a bigger thing. It's on top, so I gotta... Okay. Oh, okay, nice. Actually... I'm happy to get this. I've seen this in another box before when a uh, horror block was around. They got this item, so it's a Vincent Price mini bust, as you can see, and it's done through Rue Morgue, Rue Morgue magazine, which I'm a big fan of. I love Rue Morgue magazine. Been a subscriber for about nine years now, I think. So, sorry, there's gonna be a lot of noise. Let me just pull this out for you guys. Oh, it's heavier than I thought. I thought this wasn't going to be all that heavy. Um, yeah, so you can actually hang this on the wall, too. Um, it's a little it's on the hard side to see. Try and get the lighting right so you can kind of see features. But Oh, there we go. My arm's not in the way. Yeah, so it's Vincent Price. As you can see, there's a place to hang it on the wall, which is cool. The only thing that kind of sucks about this is there's not a whole lot. Like, there's a decent amount of detail on the sculpt, but, like... It's black, and then like one little red thing. I feel like this should be painted a lot more to be significantly better. It's not bad. I mean, I'll put it up. It's kind of cool. I remember seeing it and kind of thinking like, maybe I want to get that. It's kind of cool. I like Vincent Price a lot. He's done, obviously did some awesome stuff, but that's cool. I'm down. Uh, next thing. This is probably, oh my God. Why are we still doing this? Didn't they just do this? This uh, Happy Halloween from Horror Book of the Year author Joe Chianakis for Rabbit in Red and Burn the Rabbit. And there's like digital versions on the back. So there's codes. Stuff like that. It's there. I swear they already did this. They already did this. I don't like to see repeat things like that. And it seems like Potentially the last thing and item in here is a comic book. I think it's bagged and boarded. Is it boarded? No, it's not boarded, but oh. Certificate of Authenticity. Ash versus the Army of Darkness. And it's a special one done for Box of Dread. First issue. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Look at that. Great artwork. Love some Ash. Ash. Love some Army of Darkness. Love Ash versus Evil Dead. Evil Dead. All that. Uh, and as you can see, Box of Dread. And then on the back, there's a Certificate of Authenticity. Who's it signed by? But it's by Dynamite Comics. I assume it's like either the person who did the artwork on the front or who wrote it. Let's see if I can figure out what the... I can't tell. People's... Mm, I think it's Mauro Vargas, actually, would be my guess. 
Yes. Or Mar... Yeah. The, um... You know, as you can see, the autograph here, there's, like, a really s small, like, light autograph in the actual piece of art down here that you're not going to be able to pick up on there. I don't think you can barely see it, but it's the same person. So it's the person who did the, the cover art. That's cool. I actually like that a lot. Honestly, I like this box. I like it, especially for the price, like 20 bucks, and you got this bust, you know, this bust, the Titan vinyl, which, you know, like I said, I don't like, but plenty of people do, a DVD, and this, like, exclusive signed comic book. That's pretty cool. That's good for 20 bucks, I mean, honestly. So, um, so they, they've been doing these curator things, so... I guess, who did they have curated this time? Uh, it might be John, John Condit. Yeah, the guy who mainly runs Box of Dread. So, yeah, he just, like, I'm not going to go through all this stuff of, like, all the choices for it. But um, I think it's cool that they kind of do a write-up and they kind of say, like, we included this because of this and, you know, all that stuff. So that's cool. Um, overall, I like this. I'm happy with it. I, you know, obviously wish it would have, you know, showed up on time, but you know stuff happens so i'm gonna keep trucking with this hopefully i get my december one relatively soon um if anyone at box of dread sees this um i'm not hating on you guys like i still like you looking forward to what you're doing like i said this is a good box but heed what people are saying about the charging ahead if they people haven't gotten their boxes because people get really touchy about that and it is kind of crappy just saying but this is nice i'm a fan um Thanks, everyone, for checking this out. Thanks for Box of Dread and John Condit for doing what you do. And like I said, looking forward to the December box whenever I get that. And until next time, everyone, keep it brutal.